Well, the first half was uh, as bad as uh, I've seen us play under my tenure. Just a team that lacked belief. Never set up a team to contain or to draw a game. You know, win the game. And uh, Denver, the, the change at half time, uh, certainly his performance gave us belief, but everybody stepped on to Everton. And uh, on the second half showing, um, we just about deserved a point, I thought. No, I mean, first half we were fortunate to come in at 1 0 down. Very fortunate. Um, the second half, I thought, you know, we, we, we give a really good account of ourselves with the team that we had. You know, with some big players missing, we're lacking a bit of rhythm and fluidity in our, in our side, but you can't fault us for character and, and attitude. And it was probably that that just nicked us the point. You said seeing the incidents with the goals that were disallowed or not over the line. No, the analyst said that well, the one over the line was definitely in and uh, you know I've been saying all along as many premiership managers saying that that technology must come in and uh, you know it's cost Everton a crucial uh, cru crucial goal tonight. I mean, you said on the, in the television interview referring to Denver that, that some players play better than they're angry. No, sometimes uh, no, sometimes you know uh, you got you know fuel in your belly. You didn't play for Senegal in the week, and I think that upset him as well. Um, the fact that Sissé got the goal for Senegal uh, in the week gave him the nod because I was only going to go with one strike here tonight. That was the fault, and uh, um, and he's he was aggrieved by that. Well, he channeled it in exactly the right way. <laughs> and I've got one or two others who are upset as well, and I hope they channel it too because they're going to get a game on Thursday. Suggestion oh, oh, didn't come on when you wanted him to come on. There was suggested on TV before that you were going to put Overton on any. No. Just that was wrong. No. So that was just a question. Oh, okay. So that's how you thought the kind of defence did out and shake it start, but it seemed to get things together in the second half, and it was a you know, fairly patched up defence in terms of having played together. No, they have, that group has hardly ever played and. Uh, um, I thought we were better balanced when Perch went in the midfield and Anita went to right back. But having said that, that left hand side of Everton is as good as any any football team in Europe down that left side. Uh, Baines, Pinar, Fellini is a real, real handful and we struggled in that area and um, we, we tried to tie it up but sometimes you know the the the, uh, the play from them was outstanding. They were they were brilliant down that left.